Today, the movie industry, empowered with demonic force and authority, is shamelessly indoctrinating us with the same messages of carefully crafted and moral propaganda over and over. And what classes are you taking? Mm, Gangbang 101, freebase tutorial, and oral sex workshop. So what if these women are in porn? They're not hurting anybody. To the contrary, TV can hurt people. Jennifer Aniston admits, TV is definitely guilty of putting out unrealistic images of what is socially acceptable. I'm guilty of it too. Bill Cosby asks, the networks say they don't influence anybody. If that's true, why do they have commercials? Why am I sitting there with Jell-O pudding? A movie that we can never forget mm -hmm. and love so much is part of our youth, is part of our lives. Natalie Portman states the obvious. Films have a big influence on young people. Oh, movies are important and they're dangerous because it's, um, you go into a, a little dark room and become incredibly vulnerable. And they can completely misshape you. And Kristen Johnson of NBC's Third Rock from the Sun states, I know I'm biting the hand that feeds me, but TV can really suck the brains right out of your body. If those who control and run the media machine admit that they clearly influence how we think, act, and what we aspire to, should we not be more careful to make sure that these influences positively glorify God in our lives and to responsibly censor and omit those that do not? The book of Proverbs states, Guard your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the issues of life. Women are not just moms or bitches or is not only does Hollywood oftentimes have more influence on your kids than you do, but many of them arrogantly look down their noses at the movie and TV audiences who they greatly influence. Director George Lucas mocked, Popcorn pictures have always ruled. Why do people go see these popcorn pictures when they're not good? Why is the public so stupid? That's not my fault. I just understood what people like to go see, and Stephen has too, and we go for that. I've entertained. I've pleased your children. I've pleased your wives. I've pleased you, you sons of bitches. These were just nose thumbing movies. They, they are there to thumb their nose at your values, saying, uh, we don't care if you like us, we don't like you. Are we stupid as they claim and do we sell out our lives and the lives of our children to people who admittedly don't like us and knowingly destroy our souls? David Putnam, producer of Chariots of Fire and The Mission, confessed. Movies are powerful, good or bad, they tinker around inside your brain. They steal up on you in the darkness of the cinema to form or conform social attitudes. In short, cinema is propaganda. The world at large has undergone a massive propaganda movement on a supernatural level that has captured the hearts of the youth with terrifying consequences and results. Demons have excessively introduced wasting doctrines of spiritual refuse that people have no idea that they're even receiving. Dr. Eric Pepper, a researcher who has conducted extensive studies on the influence of film, draws attention to his observations and that we do process what we see. He says, the horror of television is that the information goes in. It goes right into our memory pool and perhaps we react to it later, but we don't know what we're reacting to. So later on, you're doing things without knowing why you're doing them or where they came from. <laughs> History that Hollywood peddles adult material to children. Now let's see how this spoon-fed material has affected them. You've heard one insider describe how the Hollywood machine marketed his R-rated movie to an audience too young to go see it. What movie did you see? American Pie. I saw American Pie. American, American Pie, Pie too. American Pie. American Pie. I'm 15. 14. 15. 13. 12. 12. 13. Who wants me to touch? Amber. Oh, shit! I love lesbians. They're great. Two girls are lesbians. The lesbian team. Lesbian team. <laughs> That's hilarious. How aware are children of the corrosive influences? And they seem to pick up everything like sponges. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like Play-Doh. Put a piece of Play-Doh on a table and it picks up everything. Kids are Play-Doh. They don't even know what they've picked up. He's the young wizard in training who's conjured up an international phenomenon. <laughs> For now, Harry Potter has the world under his spell. And from the looks of things, that's not going to change anytime soon. He's brave and adventurous. And he doesn't care what people tell him to do. Harry's friendly. Harry's not scared of anything. Harry Potter is braver than anyone I've ever met. Harry's amazing. Frighteningly, Satan's doctrines are taking root because people are not guarding themselves or their children against the schemes of the devil. Wicked. LeVay tells us how late in the game it is with our kids. He says, there's no need for packs with the devil anymore. These kids are already aligned with satanic forces. All kinds of people are witches. There are lawyers, doctors, nurses, um, school teachers, 
every walk of life. Raven Munani, owner of the store Raven's Flight, and herself a practicing witch, credits the 1996 movie The Craft for inspiring young women to explore the world of witches. I get a lot of teenage girls in here. You can always tell when The Craft has been on TV, because we get a big influx of girls looking for supplies. What about things like witchcraft? Um, do you think um, that's an evil thing that people should stay clear of? No, I don't, not at all. 